Alrighty, so phase one of our digging and and uh, removing process was finished this morning. We got all our holes on this side dug out, nine in total, and I got the old section of fence, the rot, the uh, rotting fence that was right along here. You can still see where the. Uh, <laughs> where the line of the soil is from where the fence, the existing fence was right here. Got that removed, it went all the way up to here. Cut the, cut three of the posts off. One of them was rotted out, it popped right out. It wasn't even, wasn't even anything in there to hold it down really. So we've got uh, nine poles and nine bags of concrete here, 60 pound concrete. About to uh, get these poles along here set. Typically, they're gonna need at least a day to cure, maybe two, we'll see. We'll give them a minimum of one, but really they need probably two. So the plan is today we're gonna get that, let those set, and then tomorrow, I'm going to come along here and dig the rest of these holes out and uh, then get them set. Once everything is set and cured, then we'll begin the process of getting our stringers and our pickets on. So get on that now. All right. Second day of the project finished up. Just putting up my tools here. I got this other side over here completely, uh, all the posts set in. Big Red is currently my tool shelf <laughs> for further notice. No mowing this week, but that's given me time to work on this project. One second, I'll do a quick walk around, walk through what I've done here. Getting this one side all, uh, getting this one side here all f uh, framed in, or not framed in, rather, um, all these posts set. So, decided, I went ahead and went with six foot, or eight foot posts. So it's gonna be a six foot fence, six and a half foot fence roughly. The reason for that is the the feasibility of one man being able to work with eight foot. You know, it's it's a lot easier to work with six foot, and a little bit of it's due to cost. In all honesty, because got you know baby on the way, there's a lot going on. I don't have a whole lot of money, you know, to invest in this. Just a little. So here's what we got here. We got the posts set up. My original plan was to set another one right here and do a 90 degree. However, my city clean out is right over there and it runs right through here. So needless to say, we're not interfering with that at all. We're just gonna, just gonna do a diagonal cross here. That'll be good. And then I demoed the old fence here today that used to be here. It went right to here. You can still see there's uh, one two posts a piece of granite back here things insanely heavy i think it's for my leftover for my kitchen but who knows got this uh got this lined up here as you can see yeah it's pretty good this one here that i set it's just a little like off the line but I'm not too worried about that that's the very end very last post main thing is that these all here are all pretty good so we're gonna let this concrete cure for about a day to two days and then we'll see where we're at um, in the meantime I'm gonna start on the other side over here and get that uh, get that done tomorrow we're gonna start digging the holes so probably tomorrow and Wednesday We'll dig these holes. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes to dig. 
So we did nine over here and eight over here. So there you go. Oh man. Well, that's, that's day two of the project. It's coming along.